Things were eerily quiet in Bikini Bottom, and SpongeBob was sitting in his pineapple thinking. I just don't get it, he thought to himself. What's with all these foes from different universes? I mean, every time I leave my house and ask what could go wrong, something ends up going wrong. What if the Grinch was right about the multiverse? Hey Patrick, do you find it a bit odd that we keep fighting all these foes from different universes? I do find it a bit odd, SpongeBob. Meow. You're probably right, Gary. We probably are overthinking it. But I still don't want to ask in case something ends up going wrong. I mean, life in Bikini Bottom used to be so simple. What changed? Then there was a knock on the door. Hmm, who could that be? SpongeBob opened the door, and his eyes widened when he saw a little kitten was sitting by his door. SpongeBob thought he was going to have a cute overload. The kitten immediately began to purr at SpongeBob. Patrick thought he was going to have a cute overload too. It's so cute! What are you going to name it, SpongeBob? I know, we'll call him Mittens! Great idea, SpongeBob! SpongeBob and Patrick couldn't get enough of the kitten. Neither could Gary, but for a different reason. Gary hissed and meowed aggressively at the kitten. Gary, bad snail! Gary just squirmed away, hissing. Well, I guess Gary doesn't really like mittens, does he? Oh, he'll get used to him. Who can resist a cute thing like him? Speaking of which, I'm tired. I think I'll take a nap. A few hours pass, and SpongeBob was just waking up from his nap when he heard a strange noise coming from downstairs. He went downstairs to investigate. Gary? Mittens? But there was no reply. SpongeBob cautiously looked around. That's funny. I thought I heard something. Then SpongeBob turned around and screamed. There was a tall, skinny figure standing in front of him. Holy shrimp, you're not Mittens. I gotta get out of here. SpongeBob quickly ran to Squidward's house for help, destroying his face in the process. SpongeBob, what is the meaning of this? SpongeBob explained the situation to him. Let me get this straight. You're saying that you just adopted a demonic cat? I'm serious, Squidward, take a look. Squidward went to SpongeBob's house to investigate. When he got there, Mittens was back to being a kitten. You interrupted my show for a kitten? But Squidward, I wasn't imagining that scary cat. Sure you weren't. You were probably just imagining it, SpongeBob. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go back to my show. <laughs> Maybe Squidward's right. Maybe I was imagining it. I mean, it is very impossible for an adorable kitten like Mittens to become a creepy cat like that. Is it? Mittens? Where'd you go? Then he got another poke on the back. There he was again! Now I really need to get out of here! Squidward! Squidward! What is it now, SpongeBob? He's back, Squidward! SpongeBob, I told you there's nothing there! What's all the commotion? I don't know, Patrick. Something about an adorable kitten becoming a terrifying cat? I'll be the judge of that. I shall go investigate. Patrick, no! Patrick went to SpongeBob's house to investigate. Patrick looked around, but there was nothing there. Well, except Gary. Meow. I don't see anything, SpongeBob. See, I told you there was nothing to worry about. Then SpongeBob panicked. Oh my god, Squidward behind you! Patrick saw it too and he was frightened. SpongeBob, will you quit it? I'll turn around if it'll make you happy. See, there's nobody be behind me. There he was again. Oh crap, hide me! The trio ran from the creature, with the creature in hot pursuit. When they got to the crusty bucket, SpongeBob immediately explained to Mr. Krabs what was going on. Wait, so you're telling me that there's a skinny killer cat on the loose? I'd say it's a bunch of barnacles. But after what we've seen, I don't even know what's real anymore. 
wife. For all we know, maybe Bikini Bottom doesn't exist. Maybe we don't exist. The world is a lie, I tell you. A lie! Mr. Krabs, get a hold of yourself. You're overthinking it. You're right, boyo. I'm sorry. It's just that I haven't been the same crab since Plankton died. Well, let's head over to Sandy's house. She's good at that stuff. Great idea, Squidward. And the four walked over to Sandy's tree dome. When they got to Sandy's tree dome, SpongeBob explained to Sandy what was going on. So you say the cat was skinny? Cartoon cat. Another one of Trevor Henderson's creations. He has the ability to shapeshift into anything. SpongeBob, what did he start off as? He started off as the most adorable kitten I've ever seen. You saw it, Patrick, right? Yeah, I saw it too. Is there a way to stop Cartoon Cat? I'm afraid he's just like Siren Head, Mr. K. There's really no way to stop him. Um, guys, he's here. Cartoon Cat had caught up with them. But he wasn't alone. Another figure appeared. Holy shrimp, where the barnacles did that come from? <gasps> it's Cartoon Dog! Then another figure appeared. Cartoon Rat? There's three of them. Squidward quickly darted out of there, with the others not that far behind. The three cartoons pursued them. We gotta hide somewhere. Let's hide in that cave over there. SpongeBob and his friends hid inside of a cave. Cartoon Cat looked around. He had Cartoon Dog and Cartoon Rat search for them, but to no avail. Cartoon Dog and Rat walked away, but Cartoon Cat stayed nearby. Uh, how long do we have to stay in this cave for? As long as those things are after us. We need to think of a plan to stop them, and fast. But how do we do that, SpongeBob? That's just it, I really don't know. I doubt there's a way we can kill them, SpongeBob. I got it. Maybe we can't kill them, but instead we can contain them. What do you mean by that, SpongeBob? Remember when we contained Godzilla at Mount Bikini Bottom? And I was the calamari? Exactly, Squidward. And I was thinking maybe we could do the same for our cartoon friends. Is Mount Bikini Bottom still a thing though, SpongeBob? There's only one way to find out, Squidward. On it, SpongeBob. SpongeBob and Squidward reach the entrance to the cave. Okay, Squidward, on my signal, we lure Cartoon Cat and his buddies to Mount Bikini Bottom. You got it, SpongeBob. And both SpongeBob and Squidward tried to get the attention of Cartoon Cat. And soon a hot chase pursued. When they got to Mount Bikini Bottom, SpongeBob and Squidward were putting their plan into motion. At the last second, they moved out of the way so the Cartoon Gang will fall into the volcano. Cartoon Dog and Rat fell in with no problem. But Cartoon Cat clinged on and managed to climb back up to the surface. Oh no you don't, Squidward yelled, and Squidward began to charge towards Cartoon Cat. Squidward, what are you doing? What I should have done a long time ago. SpongeBob ran in front of Squidward. I can't let you do that, buddy. I have to. It's the only way. I suck as a musician, I suck as an artist, my life is meaningless. Goodbye, SpongeBob. Squidward, don't! And with that, both Squidward and Cartoon Cat fell into Mount Bikini Bottom. With Squidward gone, and Cartoon Cat defeated, SpongeBob and his friends were mourning the loss of Squidward. First Plankton, now Squidward? Two deaths in one week? It's bad enough I had to lose my competition. But one of me employees, too? As much of a grouch he was, I'm gonna miss the guy. SpongeBob, who's gonna be our new grouchy next door neighbor? I don't know, Patrick. I really don't know. And for a brief moment, Bikini Bottom was silent. No one said anything for a long while. 
At last, SpongeBob spoke up. I don't know what to do, guys. I literally don't know what to do right now. But SpongeBob will find out soon enough.